Now, Israeli recycling company UBQ has a new take on the recycling industry that could revolutionise plastic as we know it. They take your unsorted trash like dirty diapers, chicken bones, plastic containers and other garbage and turn it all into tiny pallets of plastic-like material. Now, recently, Virginia Waste Management Authority launched a partnership with UBQ Materials to provide 2,000 recycling bins made of UBQ material to households in their district. And for more on this, I'm joined in studio by Jack Biggio, who's from UBQ. Jack, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, this is pretty cool because we know that diapers and make up such a huge percentage. Diapers is the most important thing here. Huge percentage of waste that, that can't be recycled, but you've now changed that. Correct. Uh, we have basically created a new process that transforms waste into a new natural resource. We actually take your unsorted household waste, the food stuff, the banana peels, the chicken bones, the diapers, the mixed plastics, cardboard, papers, and we convert all of that mass into a homogeneous thermoplastic material. Thermoplastic is like saying plastic, and this is actually a new bio-based plastic. So is it hygienic? Like, could you put, could you wrap food in it, for example? Yes, uh, this, this material is hygienic. It's been already uh, provided to the industry uh, to make durable products. Food contact is another level uh, of uh, approval. Uh, we're going through that. Today, we're providing the material mostly for a very, very uh, wide uh, uh, number of applications, pallets, boxes, bins, panels, Pipes. I mean, the you can make speed. everything. Everything. You can make everything, including a few things that you have there. So let's play a little game of catch here. Okay, take this. <laughs> this frisbee is made out of diapers and chicken bones. Correct. And everything else that everything it could else. possibly be made out of. What, That's what incredible. It? Yeah. That is incredible. Thank you. So this this is this is started in Tel Aviv, correct? <laughs> Yes. And now people, the Virginia Waste Company have now purchased it. Correct. So eventually we're going to see this take over? Oh yes, for sure. Uh, what we actually do is we have a plant uh, in, in the south of Israel, actually in the desert, in a place called Zelim. It's a beautiful kibbutz. Uh, part of the idea of UBQ was uh, to develop the periphery of uh, Israel and naturally uh, starting from Israel we wanted to be in the Negev, in the desert. The yeah, the company is, uh, is now uh, selling material and there is tremendous uh, interest from international companies uh, to get a climate positive, thermoplastic, bio-based, sustainable materials. Uh, and therefore, we're expanding the company, establishing plants in the United States, Europe and Asia. And how important, we know climate change is a huge problem at the moment on the agenda and we know that things like recycling and waste is a big contributor to the way that our world is changing. Correct. How important is something like this in trying to tackle that? There are three major elements in this solution. The first one is that we're taking materials that nobody wants, that will basically end up in landfills and converting them into a new natural resource. So we are really promoting what we're always talking about, this circular economy, where things that usually go to the dumps are reused infinitely to feed the economy and the uh, growing demand for materials in the world. Number two, we're replacing plastics. Plastics are made from oil, a very scarce and expensive material. Number three, waste in landfills decomposes, and it decomposes into methane. Methane is one of the worst gases you can think about is a hundred times worse than CO2. So by, wow. by avoiding this landfilling, we're basically avoiding the emissions. And therefore, this material is super important for the environment in that respect as well. So uh, this is why we were called by a certifying company, uh, the, let's say the leading certifying company in the world, which is called Quantis, as the greenest thermoplastic material available on the planet. And the last thing, which is very, very important, is that this material is commercially viable. You have some solutions that are beautiful, but you cannot afford to make them, or people have to pay more. In our case, we're good for the environment and we're good for your pocket. That is amazing. This just sounds like a win-win situation. I'm. I, I'm mind blown that we can turn garbage and I'm a very big greenie. I like to recycle everything. <laughs> yes. So I'm very pleased to hear that we have this now quickly before I say goodbye to you. Thank you, Jack. It was a pleasure to have you in studio. Thank you so much. Thank you.